solution to the land procurement woes of the country. With these observations, I recommend to the government to consider modifying the proposed legislation on the lines of the land pooling model of Andhra Pradesh to make it a win-win situation for both landowner, farmer, and also the procurer. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sri B. Vinod Kumar. Thank you, sir. Sir, today, we are debating the right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition, rehabilitation and resettlement uh, bill 2015. Sir, this bill is introduced to amend the Parent Act, which was passed in the year 2013. Sir, the right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition, rehabilitation and resettlement act 2013 was uh, the bill was introduced in this house on 17th May 2012. Sir, this bill was uh, referred to the standing committee where the honorable speaker was the chairman of that committee. Sir, they have discussed the bill at length for a period of eight months. And the bill was introduced in this house by the UPA government. Sir, the present government, which was a, the principal opposition party then, supported this bill in total. Sir, I do not know for what reason the present government is introducing this bill. Sir, after passing the bill, when the act came into force, many of the states have not yet framed the rules, which are they supposed to frame rules under Section 112 of the Act. Sir, in fact, the act is not at all in force. I mean to say that many states have not yet tried this act. So no state government had faced any problem. Had there been any problems while enforcing the act, yes, this parliament can discuss such difficulties and we can bring any amendment if necessary. I would like to know from the Honorable Minister which state government, which chief minister had reported to this government that while enforcing the act, they are facing trouble and problems. That has to be first, in, uh, the Honorable Minister should inform this House. Later on, we can discuss what are the proposals of the government in this bill. We can discuss at length. Sir, I would like to know from the Honorable Minister that the Standing Committee, in its report, had uh, seriously discussed on the social impact assessment and consent clauses, sir. Sir, the main, uh, all the members who have just uh, spoke, sir, we are concerned only with the two clauses, that is the social assessment, uh, impact assessment clause and the consent clause, which are supposed to be removed from the main act. Sir, Through this bill, through the ordinance they have already brought, and through this bill, they are adding Chapter 3A and Section 10A, sir. Sir, Chapter 3A, that is the Section 10A which they are going to amend the Parent Act, it contains five categories of projects that are exempted from the provisions of Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 in the Parent Act. Sir, the crux of the issue is 
This is the essence of the ordinance, and, the, and, uh, and it removes the requirements of the constant and social impact assessment from the process of land acquisition. So now, as per this section, the land, ac land acquisition can now be carried out for, a, for private entities and PPP projects without requiring any consent whatsoever from the affected persons. Sir, earlier for government acquisition, it was uh, uh, mandatory consent was required for 80% of the affected families and 70% for the PPP projects, sir. So through this section 10A, they want to remove the consent laws as a, well as the social impact assessment laws, sir. Sir, <coughs> sir, they are now replacing the word private company with private entity. Sir, what does they mean by private entity? Sir, private entity is now anything other than a government entity. Minister, there is minister, sir. Our ministers are also No, no, so far you are there. I think he is coming. Other ministers are there. No, he is coming. He has come. He has come. <laughs> Honorable minister has come. Our two ministers are either. And other by now. Sir, sir has come, sir. Okay, sir. Mantri ji, he has, he has come. Sir, 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 now the section is hugely widened, sir. Sir, now they, got, they want to give scope for acquisition for private entities. Sir, what does private entity mean? Private entity may be anything other than government entity or undertaking. This means even they want to include NGOs, proprietorships, partnerships, companies, corporations, and anything, what they were. So, so this scope of uh, amending this class from private company, they have removed the word and they're trying to insert the word private entity. Sir, with regard to the other section, sir, sir, I will go by class by class, sir, because I want to suggest my party, Telangana Rashtra Samiti, want to suggest in the event if the government, uh, I hope that the government uh, may come with uh, some uh, amendments to the bill, what they have introduced. I hope so, because they have to take into consideration the mood of the house. I hope that the government will come with uh, some amendments so that uh, in the event they want to get it passed, it should be farmer friendly. Sir, with regard to the definition of the company also, instead of Companies Act, Act 1956, yes, they want to take uh, the definition of Companies Act 2013. For that, uh, I do not have any objection. But with regard to Section 24, sir, this dilutes the retrospective provision of the Act and makes fewer people eligible for retrospective compensation. Sir, for the last five years, because of this Act, the, the Parent Act, sir, it was in both the houses for more than two years. So many acquisition proceedings across the country were held up. So the land acquisition affected people were not given compensation. So now they want to remove this section 24, whereby those sections of the people whose lands were already affected not receive the compensation, they will be put to hardship, sir. So I request the government not to uh, uh, dilute section 24 of the Parent Act, sir. Sir, with regard to the section 101, sir, this is very important. Sir, unutilized land can now be held virtually indefinitely and do not need to be returned to the owner. Whereas the Parent Act says, in the event if the land acquired, if they doesn't use, it should be returned to the owner. So now, by this section 101, 101, sir, they are amending it, whereby the land, the unutilized land, can now be held virtually, sir. Sir, I will give an example of my 
state. That is uh, the present Telangana state and uh, earlier undivided Andhra Pradesh. Sir, there is uh, one organization that is Andhra Pradesh Industrial Infrastructure Corporation, APIIC. It is not yet divided, sir. Sir, according to NDTV report, sir, in November 2014, it has reported. So the Andhra Pradesh Industrial Infrastructure Corporation, it has 1,39,000 acres of land, sir, out of which around 60,000 acres is not allotted to anybody. And the allotted land, around 23,000 acres is not used by the persons for whom this land was allotted, sir. Sir, we have seen that massive land scam in Telangana. <laughs> in the erstwhile Andhra Pradesh, in the erstwhile Andhra Pradesh, the, in the present state of Telangana, in our capital, sir, sir, the allotments were made by two chief ministers in Telugu Desham government by Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu, the present chief minister of Andhra Pradesh and late Rajeshekar Redigar. Sir, so they have indiscriminately allotted land to many people who have not used those lands till now. Sir, I will give one example. Sir, in 2007, the then Andhra Pradesh government allotted 10,760 acres of land to an individual, sir, in Kadapa district, after allotment for 18 crore, they have raised rupees 350 crores from the bank, sir. This is not my story. This is a case of the CBA, sir. So, likewise, I can tell. Vinod Kumarji, please sir, conclude. Few minutes, sir. sir. Lastly, sir, I have to tell because I hope that my state of Telangana and our Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao was the first person to invoke Section 112 of the Parent Act and he had framed the rules. I am going to specify those rules whereby we are trying our level best to see that the farming community or the land losers are not put to hardship, sir. Sir, coming to the main act, there are some more provisions. Sir, section 113, subclass 1 also, sir. Sir, <coughs> sir, the central government is now empowered to take any steps to remove difficulties that may arise in the implementation of the act for a period of five years, sir. Sir, earlier the parent act said only two years. Sir, by giving five years, once again, we are delaying the process of uh, implementing the act. Sir, coming to the rules framed by the state of Telangana, sir. Sir, under 112 of the principal act, sir, we have framed a few rules. Where is the limit of 2,000 acres for any industrial acquisition at a stretch? Sir, limits on extent of land beyond which provisions of rehabilitation resettlement under the act in cases of purchase by any private company through private negotiations with the owner of the land shall not be more than 2,000 acres subject to any further notification as may be notified by the government. So the land acquisition shall not exceed 50% of the net present cultivable area in the state, sir. Sir, any future land acquisition should not exceed 15% of the net present cultivable area in the state. That means we doesn't want to lose the cultivable area in the state, sir. Please conclude, Mr. Kumar Kumarji. And Please one conclude. more, sir. We are giving 100% solution on the compensation amount, sir. Sir, the social impact assessment unit is already formed, sir, in our state. And uh, we want to build a database for qualified social impact assessments, resource partners and practitioners, providing training for these teams, SIA teams, and community surveys, sir. Sir, ensure transaction-based, web-based outflow 
for this uh, social impact assessment and MIS for land acquisition, rehabilitation, resettlement. Sir, we want to, the, all the district collectors were asked to prepare an inventory of waste, barren, and unutilized lines. Please, sir, we, sir, Please sir, this is most important, sir. No, no, we should, we, this is most important, sir. We should ask the district collector, district magistrate, to make an inventory of the waste, barren, and unutilized lines. So these lands should be first utilized for any projects or companies, sir. Unless they use these lands, why should they utilize the cultivable land? That is the concern of our state government, sir. Sir, lastly, I would like to suggest the government to come with uh, amendments to the bill which have, they have already introduced. Sir, the social impact assessment should continue and the consent of the affected families should be taken into consideration. And if these proposals, if the government comes, we are ready to support the bill. Otherwise, we will oppose the bill. Thank you. Thank you. Sri Jitendra Choudhury.